The moon has been around almost as long as Earth has, and the front of it looks different than the back. Why is that? Hey there friends, Trace here with your weekly D-News Space Update. When the Russian spacecraft Luna 3 sent humanity the very first pictures ever of the far side of the moon, scientists were puzzled. Lunar maria are those large basaltic planes that make up the face on the moon. They cover 16% of the near side and for some reason, only a little bit of the far side. Scientists set about to learning why the near side had all of these beautiful sweeping gray spots and the far side had none. And 55 years after the first pictures hit Earth, a new study in astrophysical journal Letters finally answers the question. It was because the Earth was just too darn hot. The moon is our cosmic buddy, flying around locked in a synchronous orbit with us. Scientists believe that it was created four and a half billion years ago when something big struck the newborn Earth, cleaving off a bunch of our planet. The energy from this Mars-sized impact caused the Earth to turn into a ball of molten rock. It was so hot, some matter even got vaporized. Sounds pretty intense, right? After the crash, molten rock, matter, and vapor orbited what was left of the Earth, and eventually it congealed into the moon. Shortly after it formed, our moon became orbitally locked. That is to say, the amount of time it took to orbit was synchronized with the time it took to rotate, which is why we only see one side. It was also 10 to 20 times closer to the Earth than it is today. The Earth is a lot larger than the moon, though, so it took a lot longer to cool down. So think about this for a minute. The moon is cooling off, and the Earth is still really hot, and the moon is right next to our ball of molten rock. It's just sitting there for ages. The Earth's heat affected the moon quite a bit, the researchers say. The far side of the moon cooled more quickly than the near side, allowing space debris like asteroids and comets to begin pockmarking the backside surface. In contrast, the nearer side would stay molten for thousands or millions of years after that, which affects the thickness and composition of the moon's crust. Maria came into the story because the far side crust is thicker than the near side. It simply had more time to cool. Millions of years ago, after the crust had cooled, giant asteroids punched holes in the near side, releasing seas of molten basaltic lava, which became Maria. And as the moon cooled, they've remained in place ever since. Today, the moon is completely cold all the way through. There's no volcanic or tectonic activity at all, so nothing internal will reshape its surface. Instead, asteroids are responsible for creating new craters just one at a time. Sometimes the explosions of these space rocks are visible to the naked eye to us here on Earth. One of those impacts happened a year ago, in fact, and it was super cool. What do you see when you look at the moon? Some cultures believe that the maria are shaped like a face, while others think it looks like a rabbit or a tree or a couple of handprints or a whole woman. Look at the moon and tell us what you see down below and if you like looking at rabbits and women and faces and stuff, our friends over at Fandom Beat just launched a new show called Behind Anime Lines, which is the best name. In the show, two of our hosts get together and talk about a recent anime that they've enjoyed or not enjoyed. This episode is about last summer's hit show, Attack on Titan, and what they loved and didn't love about the series. Check it out, and thanks a lot for watching D News, everybody. Y'all are great.